Hello and welcome back. Let's do a proof. So we're given AB is parallel to CD, EF is perpendicular to AB, and that EF intersects CD. Prove that EF is perpendicular to CD. Okay, so we're given that AB and CD are parallel. Mark up our diagram like this. If we know that EF is perpendicular to AB, EF, AB, then that means right angles are formed around the point of intersection. So that would mean right angle here, 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 and here. And then we know that EF intersects CD. We know this goes through this line at some point but what we need to show is that they're perpendicular. The EF and CD are perpendicular, which means we'd need to show that right angles are formed here around that point of intersection. So let's first start off by writing down what we were given. Okay, we know AB is parallel to CD. We know that AB is perpendicular to EF. And that EF intersects CD. Okay. So we need to also explicitly name that we have right angles here because we're going to need to use that to show we also have right angles here and so therefore we must have perpendicular lines so let's go with we need another point here measure of angle i want to focus on this angle so that would be a g it's another letter m Measure of angle AGM is 90 degrees. How do we know? Because perpendicular lines form right angles. Okay. Well, to know that these lines are parallel means that we also know some special angle pairs that arise as a result. For example, alternate interior angles are equal in measure. Corresponding angles are equal in measure. Let's say we go with talking about this angle here. So we could call that MHD. The measure of angle MHD, well first let's go like this, is equal to the measure of angle AGM because if parallel lines are cut by a transversal, such that alternate, no, if parallel lines are cut by a transversal, then alternate interior angles are equal in measure. And so our next line will be that the measure of angle MHD is 90 degrees by substitution because this here is 90. Okay. Oh, 
Okay, so where does that leave us right now? The measure of angle MHD is 90. So we just said this is 90 because it's an alternate interior angle with this angle. Well, but if a right angle is formed from the intersection of two lines, then those lines must be perpendicular. That is the definition of perpendicular. So our last statement and reason will be that CD is perpendicular to EF. If right angles are formed from the intersection of two lines, then the lines are perpendicular. That would be for completeness there. That's writing everything in. We also know that, well, since this is a linear pair, then that means, whoops, this is also a right angle. Same reason here and here. So all of those are right angles. And we're done.